Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will look into creation of analysis criteria and assigning different analysis criteria to the mat. Once the meshing of the mat is done, the next step in the workflow is to create analysis criteria. Now, as we see on the screen, in this analysis menu, the first thing to do is to create criteria. Under the criteria, there are two options that is general criteria and another is criteria specifically for the mat. Let us focus on the mat analysis criteria. The general analysis criteria that we create here applies to the pedestal or to objects other than mats. The mat analysis criteria will differ from the general one in one important aspect. For mat, there is the option to consider the mat thickness for force transfer to the bottom of the foundation. This is meant for cases where the superstructure column support is defined at the top of the mat or further above, and thus the load needs to be transmitted through rigid body methods to the base of the foundation. Now, since this model consists of only mat objects at present, we do not intend to create any general criteria. So let us create the analysis criteria for mat foundation. The primary task involved in this step is to select the load cases to be considered for the analysis of the mat. We need to provide the name to this criterion select the analysis type, select load combinations and lastly we need to select whether we want to consider the mat thickness for force transfer or not. When we switch on the checkbox against consider mat thickness then the program will consider the load to be transferred from the support level which is at the base of the superstructure column to the base of the mat. The additional moment due to lateral forces will get added to the support moment from the analysis. Other forces like Fx, Fy and Fz are transferred as it is to the bottom of the mat. These final forces and combined moments will be used for the analysis of the mat. Next is when we keep this unfit, that is the mat thickness is not considered. Then program considers that the support is at the bottom of the mat foundation thickness and hence whatever forces are transferred from the superstructure will be used as it is for the analysis of the mat foundation. So here more than one analysis criteria can be created if needed. The benefit of having multiple analysis criteria is that we can observe the behavior of mat under different situations or conditions as required. So once the analysis criteria are created, we need to assign them to the mat foundation. There are two ways by which we can ask the program to perform analysis. The first method is termed as select. When we have multiple mats in the model or if there are other foundations present along with a mat and we want to analyze the mat independently with different analysis criteria, this method allows us to perform analysis individually for each foundation with its own analysis criteria. The second method is termed all. If we intend to perform the analysis of mat and other foundations at the same time, we can also do by selecting this option all. After this, the program starts to analyze all the foundations present in the model. SFA 2023 uses the STAD engine to perform the analysis. So, when the structure is getting analyzed, the STAT model gets created automatically. 
the location of this tag model depends on whether the SFA file has been saved or not. If we have already saved the SFA file, then the stat model gets saved on the same location where the SFA file is saved. Like in this case, we have saved the SFA file and hence the stat model will get saved in the same location. In case when we don't save the SFA file and perform the analysis, the stat file gets created at the location in the C tree. This same can be done with multiple analysis criteria assigned to different MAT foundation in the structure and then analyzing all at once or each one at one time. With this, we conclude on this video explaining the creation of analysis criteria for MAT foundation. Thank you.